So tell me a little about yourself and how you got into the fitness industry specifically. Uh, my name is Mike Bryant. I'm a certified personal trainer. I'm from London, England originally. Uh, I've been in the United States for 10 years and I consider the United States home. I was uh, educated through college to fitness director back in England where I help soccer coaches improve on their team's overall performances. And now you've started your own website. What's the name of the website and what drove you to starting it? The name of the website is getfitco.com. It's an interactive personal training website designed for people wishing to start out or improve on their fitness regime and at only a fraction of the cost of employing a personal trainer. How would you compare your website to other websites out there? Well, it's less cluttered with adverts and pop-ups. It's user-friendly and simple to use. I like simplicity. At the same time, it's informative. What's your training philosophy and what sets you apart from other trainers? Every person's an individual, and that's the way in which I train my clients. I don't prescribe the same exercises, reps, weights, etc. for all. Every program is individualised. The other reason I started the website was not only to help my clients, but to help personal trainers by putting into plain English and paraphrasing all the information out there into useful snippet articles that make sense. Health professionals can also advertise their particular services in my directory, which enables visitors to the website to easily find physical therapists, personal trainers, chiropractors, masseuses, etc., etc. You stated earlier that you work with soccer coaches. Do you only work with athletes? No, all types of people. My accreditation bureau, the National Council on Strength and Fitness, strongly believes in the continuing, edu continuing education units uh, system. And I take full advantage of that to expand my knowledge into the different fields. I'm constantly evolving. What do you think of fad diets and exercise crazes? As far as fad diets go, most of them are just plain unhealthy. Uh, you're better off sticking to the basics. Eat a little less, exercise a little more. Once you're on a roll with that, then you can begin to make healthier food choices. Look, nobody's going to want to suddenly switch from eating white rice to brown rice. It just leaves people saying, mm, I ain't going to do that. You know, just take one small step at a time and you get where you want to go. you just got to take that first small step. And what was the name of the website again? Getfitcode.com.